Bad is a great movie, as well as a very iconic one. So iconic that even if you haven't seen the film, you've at least heard the name McLovin. Naturally, a film as popular as Superbad would spawn other films that want to follow in its footsteps. Booksmart and The Binge are films that have been released within the recent years that have attempted to cash in on the Superbad formula. But what do I mean when I say the Superbad formula? The Superbad formula is when a movie does a series of things. First, the film needs to have two main characters that are unpopular high school seniors. Next, the characters are going to want to go to a party that night. And they asked me to buy her alcohol, but not just her, for a whole party. Unfortunately, things will happen to them before they get there. At some point, the characters will argue with each other. And lastly, by the end of the film, the characters will have learned something. So how does Booksmart and The Binge use the super bad formula? Well, let's compare Booksmart and The Binge to each part of the formula. First, do these films have two main characters that are unpopular high school seniors? In Booksmart, we have two main characters named Amy and Molly on their last day of their senior year of high school. Amy and Molly are students that have spent their time excelling in their academics so that they could qualify for good colleges. This meant that they abstained from drugs, alcohol, and parties for the sake of their grades. Unfortunately, this gave them the reputation of being bookworms that only care about school. In short, they're unpopular high school seniors. In The Binge, we have two main characters named Griffin and Hags, who are both high school seniors. Just like in Superbad, in The Binge, Griffin and Hags have been struggling to ask out the women they like due to their lack of popularity. In other words, they're unpopular high school seniors. I realize I didn't have much to say about the characters in The Binge versus the characters in Booksmart, and that's mainly because The Binge doesn't really say much about these characters. But I just wanted to mention that briefly right now. We'll put a pin in it. I'm going to talk about that later. Trust me. Anyway, next on the super bad formula. Do the characters in these films want to go to a party that night? In Booksmart, Amy and Molly find out that one of their classmates, Nick, is having a party at his house that night. Molly convinces Amy that they should go to this party because one, it's their last night as seniors, and two, Molly found out that everyone who partied during their years at high school also got into good colleges, so why shouldn't they have some fun for a change? We are not one-dimensional. We are smart and fun. In The Binge, that movie takes place on the night of The Binge. One night a year for 12 hours where all drugs and alcohol are legal in a version of America where drugs and alcohol are otherwise 100% prohibited. Sound familiar? Announcing the commencement of the annual purge. <sighs> anyway, Griffin and Hags find out about a giant party happening that night. Hags convinces Griffin to go to this party with him and participate with him in their first binge. This is our last chance to make a great memory. Unfortunately, in both movies, things happen to these characters before they get to these parties. In Booksmart, no one is willing to give Amy and Molly the address to Nick's party. This results in them going from one place to another until they eventually get his address and arrive at his party. In the binge, Griffin and Hags need to get their hands on tickets in order to go to the giant binge party. Then a whole bunch of stuff kinda just happens to them. Oh, and then they just appear at the party after getting super high on mushrooms and singing a musical number. We're gonna get high, gonna get baked, till every inch of us just aches. This brings us to the next part of our super bad formula. Is there a scene where the main characters are arguing with each other? In Booksmart, Amy and Molly get into an argument at Nick's party. Amy wants to leave the party, while Molly wants to stay at the party. In the binge, Griffin and Hags get into a fight with each other after being put into a Siamese Tootsie Roll. Don't ask what that is. Griffin ultimately ends up blaming Hags for the poor night that they're having. Lastly, in the super bad formula, 
Did the characters in these films learn something by the end of the movie? In Booksmart, not only did Amy and Molly learn more about some of their classmates, but they also learned more about each other. Molly also accepted the fact that Amy was going to be going away to Africa for a year, which meant that the two of them would not always be doing things together. In the binge... Alright, I honestly don't know for this one. And if the characters did learn something, after two times watching the film, I don't know what it is. In Superbad and in Booksmart, at least there was an underlying message or something that you could point to, like, don't get women drunk just so that you can get with them, or don't assume things about people you don't know. In the binge, it's just about kids getting high. And that is my problem with the binge, and I said I was going to get back to this. The binge is just a bottom of the barrel bullshit slapstick comedy. Honestly, I was having a hard time writing about these characters because the film doesn't develop any of them. Sure, it's an interesting idea to be like, hey, what if we put together Superbad and The Purge? But that by itself doesn't give you a good movie. It just doesn't. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. Let me know if there's any other films that you think fit the Superbad formula. Bad formula.